and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk a little bit about Onyx motorbikes and are they out of business I, uh, I think they are but I'm not 100% sure I mean several people have said they are but I still see their website is up and I still get newsletter emails and but you can't purchase a bike I mean it looks like they're listing the RCR and the uh, at least the RCR is uh, sold out at either street or dirt kit versions but the city 2 is still listed but I don't think you can pay on it if I'm gonna follow this car here um, so anyway it got me thinking is there a alternative if you were one of the ones looking to buy the Onyx RCR and you can no longer purchase one then um, where are you going to turn so if you think about it if we eliminate any of the dirt bikes like I'm going to call them dirt bikes like the uh, Talaria the Saron, anything like that um, and we look for one that's more of the uh, all-terrain maybe uh, on-road off-road both I, I still think of the Onyx RCR to me I still think it's more of a street bike I don't see it as a off-road so much but um, let's say it, it is a on-road off-road bike what alternatives out there are there that are in the same price range now that was going uh, for most recently for five thousand dollars four thousand nine ninety nine let's just say five thousand and uh, so when you think about it, what's out there as an alternative if if you uh, were had your eyes on an RCR and you uh, looks like can no longer buy one what else is out there so I think uh, I think the bike that I have coming this summer uh, might be it it might be the alternative I, uh, when you think about it and that's the uh, graffiti X and the only other ones that come to mind uh, would be like a hawk and those are a little bit on the pricier side. I think they're going to be well north of five thousand dollars. And uh, so I don't know what's in that price range. If anybody uh, knows an alternative bike that's pretty similar to what the RCR has to offer, let me know in the comments and let everybody know in the comments below. I am. Um, I kind of think it's the uh, the Graffiti X is probably right in there because uh, it's not a 72 volt though, it's 60. Uh, the battery is a little bit smaller, uh, 35 amp hour versus 41, so there's a little bit of difference there, but the Graffiti X is also not as expensive. Uh, the uh, retail regular price is going to be $39.99 but um, but if you get in on a reserve right now you'll get some kind of a discount on it if you purchase if you decide to purchase one when they do come up again very very soon I think they're going to be uh, selling some more of those um, so if you haven't already you might want to get your reserve in if you're thinking about getting a a graffiti X I think I think the graffiti X is going to be a big hit when it comes out and I think it might be your alternative to a, an RCR 
I actually uh, think it's a better looking bike uh, to me and it's more looks more like an electric bike bicycle as opposed to uh, the uh, Onyx RCR. The Onyx RCR to me, now I've even thought about one if I was to buy one, you know, back a while ago before I got this graffiti, the graffiti that I have right now I'm riding. But uh, the thing that bothered me the most about that bike is I think it might be too much of a motorcycle uh, looking and I don't know if you can ride that without getting it registered and all that for the road so I don't so that part bothered me um, I was thinking about the city 2 the Onyx city 2 I wasn't crazy over the uh, look of that one so much uh, but then when the graffiti X came along uh, that one uh, I thought yeah that that's that's what I'm looking for something like that it has the look and it has the amount of power that I think I'm gonna I'm gonna want all, all of the power that I'm gonna want and probably more um, you know it's gonna get me up hills any hill that I have to tackle it's going to give me uh, plenty of speed should i uh, want to ride faster which i'm not going to lie occasionally i do like to go a little bit you know i'm not going to sit 20 miles an hour all the time you sometimes you feel a little more like you want to go a little bit and uh, i don't know if i'm going to ride 50 miles an hour though but you know 30 35 especially if you're on a road where there's no bike lane and you have a fast enough bike that can keep up with traffic, I think that's, to me, it's a good thing. I know that a lot of folks out there are gonna say, well, that's illegal and all, but I think it's safer to be able to ride with the traffic instead of trying to carve out your own little uh, bike lane, you know? But yeah, I think this is an interesting topic. Uh, it's too bad, uh, I, hope onyx is not dead like i say i don't know for sure but everything all indications are pointing that they are but let's just see what happens maybe somebody else will take over i don't know and because they've been around a while i think they're around since 2018 or was it even before that 2017 but they've been around a little while and uh and uh you know they've carved out a pretty good name for themselves i don't know how many bikes they've sold in the course of their existence but i bet you it's a pretty decent amount but uh saying all that i've yet to see uh, an rcr uh in person i've only seen them on video But anyway, uh, I thought this would be an interesting topic. Uh, what would be an alternative if somebody was looking originally to buy an RCR, Onyx RCR, and then were unable to now because they're not around to sell anymore. So what is the alternative? I think the Graffiti X, but hey, if you've got a, another bike in mind, I'm trying to eliminate, like I say, I'm not going to count Sarans and Talarias and, and other bikes like that. Uh, they're good bikes, but they're, to me, they're more for off-road, dirt, uh, off-roading. If you did a lot of off-roading, if I had places I could ride and had time to do it and all that, I, that'd be a lot of fun to have a, have that. But for me, it's a little bit of off-roading and more street
like to uh, I'd like to see a race between an Onyx RCR one that's not been modified in any way with a Graffiti X like both bikes right out of the box comparison of uh, I'd love to see a speed and just torque and all that a comparison see which one takes off faster which one has more speed So that's going to do it for this video, talking about Onyx RCR and whether or not the company has gone out of business. I don't know if they have for sure. Maybe somebody can chime in on in the comments and let us know if they know anything uh, about that uh, exactly. Because I mean, like I say, I've read a lot over the course of a little while now and heard a lot, but. I haven't heard 100% really from anybody there that says yes is dead, but maybe I missed something and somebody can fill us in and inform us, uh, that'd be great. Uh, so if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if, hey, if you'd like to subscribe and uh, help support the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you uh, very much for doing that. And if you wanna be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. So thanks again for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.